Hello, this is the BBC Global Report, live from Building High School. Hey, this is Alian, and tonight we'll be talking about teams of tech. Now we'll be looking at how technology affects education. Over to you. Technology. Is it becoming increasingly prevalent in our classrooms, such as interactive smartboards and using phones in class and uploading homework onto the internet? But is it actually a good thing to have? Education. Is it getting affected by technology and social media? So, technology is becoming ever more common in our classrooms, although not always in helpful ways. But as our world is becoming ever more digital, will we be seeing more phones in the classroom? Students were asked, do, do you believe modern technology has a positive effect or negative effect on education? 9 out of 10 students answered positively. The one student who said otherwise gave his reason. Phones are too big of a distraction in school nowadays. Kids don't even listen, they're just on their phones all day, every day. Thanks, Ewan. The, the next topic is how social media and technology has influenced our lives and the way we see ourselves. Wearable technology is clothing or accessories that incorporate advanced technology. The purpose is to create a convenient, hands free, portable access to electronics. The first piece was a calculator watch in the 1980s. Wearable technology has in fact benefited healthcare and medicine in many ways. There are pedometers that monitor calories burned, heart rate, steps, blood pressure, sleep trackers, posture sensors, skin temperature and perspiration. There are also rumours that Apple, Google and Samsung were researching smartwatches to aid diabetics by monitoring their condition. However, some people believe this could turn healthcare into a two-tier hierarchy, only some getting access to recent technology where others miss out. Social media plays a big role in how teens see themselves. Due to sites like Facebook and Instagram, we are being bombarded with false images altered by Photoshop. As a result of these images, we are being shown deceitful representations of how we should look, changing the way we see ourselves. Teens and young adults see these edited images and images of celebrities and automatically presume they are meant to aspire to resemble them. These photos can cause teens to develop self-esteem issues, starting with not looking a certain way and fixating on all the things we don't like about ourselves. Yeah, they can be really shocking at times because you can see like the comparison of what is real and what is not. Sometimes, um, because like when you see people particularly, like, you sometimes compare yourself and you like kind of like put yourself down and just don't like feel as pretty. As Actually, the, the last topic will be how people choose to portray themselves online through social media. How do you present yourself on social media? This is Nick and I'm Abigail presenting from Belmont High School. From our sources, we found how technology has given people the opportunity to choose how they portray themselves online. Online persona is an online identity used on the internet. People, mainly teenagers, care lots about how they are seen on social media. They show what they want people to see and cover what they don't. They want approval from the online world to be seen as perfect. People have had negative reactions which has resulted in posting harsh comments leading to cyberbullying. From the internet we found that 43% of teens have been victims of cyberbullying and the majority were, were girls. After serving our class aged 14 to 15 we found out that it was mainly girls that didn't know if their accounts were private. This showed how oblivious they were as to who could view their accounts. Yes, I do, because I don't want anything bad going around about me or anyone I don't want to see things about me. Uh, yeah, it can because, like, uh, employers, uh, they always want to, like, look at um, the potential employee stuff. Hey, from all from Dalton High School, thank you. Good night.